My name's Aaron Massey from MrFixItDIY.com and welcome back to another episode of Homeschool. For today's project, I'm gonna show you how you can install a retractable screen door for just about any doorway. About a year ago, I worked on this covered patio addition for some friends of mine, and they've decided that they wanna add a screen door in addition to their French doors so that they can open it up and get some airflow without worrying about bugs or critters. So that's what I'll be adding today. I rate these projects by how many F-bombs you're likely to drop while tackling the project. This one is really fucking easy. You just might need an extra set of hands depending on the size of the door that you're installing. This episode of Homeschooled is brought to you by Zabitat.com, who sent over the Brisa retractable screen door that I'm gonna be installing in this video. To check out all the sizes and styles of screen doors they offer, make sure you visit their website at Zabitat.com. Before I got started with this project, the first thing I needed to do was measure the existing door to make sure that I ordered the proper size for the door. This type of screen door face mounts over the door trim around the door and is adjustable in width by about four inches. It's also important to note whether your doors are in-swing or out-swing doors. In this case, the edge of the trim around the door is 70 inches by 80 inches and they're in-swing doors. With the proper door ready to go, installing it is really simple. First, I can lay out all the components that come with the door and assemble them. The metal sill slides into a groove in the bottom track, and then the bottom and top tracks can be snapped into the side pieces, making sure the screen aligns with the tracks on the top and bottom. Once everything is snapped together, the whole assembly can be stood up and placed into the door jamb, making sure to align the metal sill on the bottom to the center of the doorway. Next, I can attach the side rails in place on the door's trim with the included self-tapping screws. In this case, I pre-drilled the holes because I'm working with concrete composite trim. For the bottom sill, the instructions say where to place the four screws to hold it down to the existing door's sill, so I'll lay out and mark the measurements and screw it into place. Then I'll slide the included track extenders into place. For a more finished look, the extensions can be notched around the jam with a razor blade. Much like the existing French doors, this screen door has an active and a fixed panel, so I'll pull out and align the fixed panel side with the center of the doorway and mark the holes for the stops, and then drill holes in the top trim and bottom sill to hold the fixed panel in place. And lastly, I can just test the functionality of the door and make sure everything moves smoothly. Well, that's it for this project. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Adding a retractable screen door is a relatively simple project you can knock out in about a half an hour. You might need an extra set of hands depending on the size of your door, but it's a really straightforward project. I wanna say a special thank you to Zabitat.com for sponsoring this project and for sending over the Brisa retractable screen door that I used in this video. And if you guys would like to get your own retractable screen door, you can use the promo code MrFixit10 for $10 off your order. And as always, if you guys wanna check out more of my DIY or home improvement related projects, you can click the link to those right here, or you can always visit my website at MrFixitDIY.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.